All right, uh, this video is about um, how the human eye uh, will focus a, a, an image um, and a couple um, uh, vocab words for IB, um, far point and near point. Um, so if you look here, I've got a, a diagram of the human eye um, where at this particular spot, uh, this is what's known as the lens of your eye. Um, just outside of it here along this spot, and this spot is known as the iris. That's that's the color part of your eye. Okay, and then this protective part along the front is is the cornea. So it keeps your eye safe. So light comes in through here into the lens, and then the lens will focus it on this surface along the back, known as the retina. So that's where the the image actually gets focused, and that's how your brain actually will perceive that particular light. Um, there are these muscles on either side of the lens um, that will either stretch the lens and make it thinner or um, relax and make the the um, eye actually uh, or the lens actually thicker okay so a couple points that we're gonna try to make okay I mean if you're looking at something that is really far away we often refer to that um, point or that object as being at infinity. Why? Because the rays essentially strike your eye uh, at parallel. They don't come in at an angle. Okay. Um, and what happens in that case when something's very far away is that the lens is actually very thin. Okay. And they focus it directly onto your retina. Okay. That point, the far point, is known as the position of the farthest object that can be brought into focus by the unaided eye. Okay, that's what the far point is. Okay, it's the farthest thing you can see. It's fairly self-explanatory. Okay, um, another situation is known as the near point. Now it turns out that for most people, okay, um, the nearest point that you can see without straining, okay, uh, the closest position of any object that can be brought into focus by the unaided eye without straining is about 25 centimeters. But in order to do that, um, the lens actually has to be in a thicker state so that it can actually quickly bend those rays and focus them at your retina. Okay, so the near point, you might hear this term fairly uh, or on a lot of the IB problems, the near point is about 25 centimeters. You can pretty much just call it 25 centimeters. That's pretty normal. Okay, um, a near point, and some people have this, a near point that is closer to the eye than normal or closer than 25, that is known as being short-sighted. Um, benefits of being short sighted is that you can th see things that are closer um, than 25 centimeters away from your face without having to struggle. Um, however, um, generally you have a harder time seeing things that are far away. And then far sighted would be the opposite of that. You can see things that are farther away but struggle even more with things that are even farther away than 25 centimeters. Okay.